This video is for lesson 35-1, Surface Area of Pyramids and Cones. Learning goals are to solve problems involving the lateral area or the total surface area of a pyramid and to do the same thing for a cone. Recall that in a previous lesson we found the lateral area and total surface area for prisms and cylinders. This time let's discuss how to do this for a cone shape or a pyramid shape. The lateral area for a cone is the area of the sides of the cone, not including the circular bottom. The lateral area for a pyramid would be the area of those side triangle faces on the period, not including the square bottom. To find total area, you take the lateral area and then add the area of the base. On the next page in question two, you see a drawing of a square pyramid. To find the surface area of the pyramid, you would need to know some measurements. One thing you would need to know is how long is each side of that base? Because it's a square, however long this is, is the same as how long it is from front to back. You need to know that in order to find the area of the base. Another thing you would need to know to find the surface area of a pyramid is how long it is from the top of the pyramid right down the middle of one of the triangular sides until you touch the bottom at a 90 degree angle. The reason that you need to know how long that is is because it helps you find the area of the triangle. That distance is given the letter L and it means slant height or slant length hence the letter L for the word length, and it is a different type of height than what we use the letter H to represent, which is the height of the pyramid itself. As long as you know how long the bottom edges of the base are and how long the slant height is, you can find the surface area of a pyramid. If you don't know what those numbers are, then you need to use other geometry skills in order to find them. Somewhere in this handout, and it really doesn't matter where, you need to record the formula for lateral area of a pyramid. It is one half times the perimeter of the base times the slant height. So the LA means lateral area. That is the area of all of the triangle faces. The letter P means perimeter. That is the distance around the base. And the letter L is slant height. That is the distance from the top of the pyramid running down the middle of one of the triangle faces. Right next to where you write the formula for lateral area, write a formula for total surface area. You might call it TA or SA for total surface area. That's equal to the lateral area plus the area of the base. For lateral area, we have the formula above for area of the base, you would use whatever formula or technique is needed depending on the shape of the base. If the base of your pyramid is a square, go length times width. If the base of the pyramid is a triangle, go one half base times height. If the base of the pyramid is a pentagon, use the area formula for pentagons. Go to the check your understanding questions number six. This describes a square pyramid. It says each side of the base is five feet and the slant height is four feet. Over here on the side, we can draw a picture of this pyramid. So here's the front edge and then the right edge and then here's the left edge and the back edge of the square base. I'm gonna locate the exact center point and then trace straight up above to reach the top of the pyramid. Now I can draw my diagonal edges of the pyramid. There's the front left edge, the front right edge, the back right edge, and here comes the back left edge, right to that spot. We were given some numbers. We were told that each side is five, so this is five and this is five. Furthermore, we were told the slant height. So from the top of the pyramid, right down the middle of that triangle, touching the bottom at a 90 degree angle, is the slant height. We're told that's four. 
With these numbers, we can find the lateral area and total surface area. So question A asks for lateral area. Let's start with that. Lateral area for a pyramid is 1 half times the perimeter times the slant height. Let's fill in the perimeter. How far around the bottom is it? 5, 5, 5, and 5. The perimeter is 20. What's the slant height? It's 4. Half of 20 is 10, and 10 times 4 is 40 square feet. There's the lateral area. That includes all four triangle faces. Now for question B, let's get the total surface area. You take your lateral area and add the area of the base. So the lateral area is 40, and now the area of the base. You have to think about the base. What shape is it? It's a square. How long are the sides? They're all five. And so five long, five wide is an area of 25. This is 65 square feet. So in this example, we found the surface area of a prism using two formulas that we learned today. Move on to the next page. What you see here are a series of pictures of shapes that if you cut these out with scissors and then pinch them together with your fingers to bring this edge and this edge together, maybe you put a piece of scotch tape to hold it together, that would fold up and make a three-dimensional object called a cone. The point is that the lateral face of a cone is made out of sections of a circle. Like for a pyramid, let's create formulas for lateral area and total surface area for a cone. So here comes lateral area of a cone. It's pi times the radius times the slant length. If you have a cone, such as the one that I'm drawing over here on the side, the bottom of the cone, the base, is a circle. What you would need to know is what is the radius of the circle? And the other thing you would want to know is, how long is it down the slanted side of the cone? That's the lowercase l. For total area of a cone, you take the lateral area and then add the area of the base. But remember, the base is a circle, and the area of a circle is pi r squared. So it's more common to record this formula as pi r l plus pi r squared. The pi r l is your lateral area. The pi r squared is your circle base. So with these two formulas, you can find areas on a cone. And with the previous formulas, you can find areas on a pyramid. Skip ahead to the check your understanding number 11. Let's try a sample. The diameter of a cone is 10 centimeters and the slant height is 7. Let's draw a picture of this cone. So two diagonal edges coming downwards. When you draw this, kind of round off the bottom to make the illusion that it's a three-dimensional object. You don't want it to look like a triangle when you draw it. We know that all the way across is 10. So what's the radius of the cone? It's 5. We also know that the slant height is 7. So where do you label the 7? What is slant height in this picture? It goes along this diagonal edge. With those two numbers, we can find the lateral area and the surface area. Let's start with question A, the lateral area. Formula is pi r l. So pi times 5 times 7. The answer is 35 pi square centimeters. If you want to put 3.14 in for pi, you can get this as a single number. Now question B, let's get the total area. The formula is the pi r l, which we already figured out, plus pi r squared. The pi r l is 35 pi plus, now pi times r squared. What do you fill in for r? You put in 5. This makes 35 pi plus 25 pi. And so the answer is 60 pi 
square centimeters. So to summarize, in this lesson we discussed how to find lateral area and total surface area for pyramids and cones. Hopefully you wrote some formulas down in this packet, but you also want to put those formulas on a note page for test day.